Hello and welcome to Google Sheets Basic. This is the first video related to cells and ranges. I am going to tell about A1 cell reference, rod column style or R1C1, and functions, direct functions like equals A1, indirect, row, column, rows and column. Just open your Google Drive and make new spreadsheets to begin. Right now I am in cell A1 and uh, I want to type something, some texts I will just type my name. And in another cell I want to reference this cell A1. I will just paste equal sign and, and then error to cell A1 and it will automatically paste A1. The other way I can handle it is just paste it uh, by hand, equals A1, and hit enter, and here it is. This is the direct way to make uh, a reference from one cell to another. It looks like it's very simple, but uh, as you see, A1 is the uh, intersection between columns and rows. And we have some functions to, de to detect which row and which column we are in. Uh, in column one paste formula column and don't paste any cell reference inside. And then just copy this formula right and you'll see that each column represents its own number and uh, if we change this formula into row and then just copy it down, we'll see which row we are in. And Google Spreadsheets uh, deals with both cell references, A1 style and R1C1. R1C1 is just, we tell R1C1 means row 1 and column 1. It is very useful when you understand this because it could be used in different formulas, like indirect. Let's look at it. Let's say we want to, to have a cell reference of uh, cell number 1. And here is our text max. And we can make it with uh, indirect formula. R1C1 and here I want to type A1. And let's look how it would work. Paste equal sign indirect. When you select it, you may select it with your mouse and then cell reference a string. And you see, I paste my cell reference A1, which I paste it in another cell, and then type comma. And you see, the second item is A1 notation, and here it is. What I am talking about is A1 notation, uh, notation optional. Includes if the cell reference is in A1 notation true or R1C1 notation false. Here we have true. So let's paste true or I better like one. One means true also. And uh, copy this formula right like this paste it and you see cell reference because R1C1 is not a valid cell reference because we paste it 1. Let's change it into 0 or false. I like 0 because it's shorter. 0. And we have the same result. Why did I tell you about R1C1 style? Because sometimes you don't know exact which letter is, uh, is you in. It's maybe letter I or E or F, and uh, more more useful is to make a one C one style when you use in indirect formula because you can count how many rows you have in a range with formula rows and select some range. No, vert vertical. Let it be vertical range with formula columns 
you can have this range and see that there are eight columns between A1 and H1 and also you can uh, find any row or any column you wish without finding uh, its letter so indirect formula is more useful with R1C1 style so that's all and uh, I hope you like this lesson.